Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, the voice for fitness and the author of The Dollars and Cents of Selling Exercise, How to Promote Personal Training with Integrity. And that book's a couple years old, but that book illustrates exactly what I talk about, present on, write about. The marketing and the selling of fitness. And even if you don't think of yourself as a marketer or someone who sells or is in that line of work in the environment that you teach fitness and you are a fitness professional and hold on to that thought. I'm going to challenge it a little bit. So I want to point out an illustration of you going back to all of your emails, however you send them out, old fashioned way, or if you've got an automated email system, great. All of your posts, your tweets, however it is that you are contacting clients and just get some of them in front of you and dedicate an hour to studying them and looking at what you're doing. And ask yourself this, are you actually reaching and talking to the people who need to be in exercising and doing the things you might be promoting, or are you talking to the people who are already looking for them? So if you're talking about a reformer class, or you're talking about a trampoline class, or you're talking about a TRX session, or you're talking about maybe even just boot camp, which is not a piece of equipment, but it is kind of a, we assume people know what that means and they probably don't. Then the people most attracted to what it is you're sending are probably already interested in that. People who really need it and want it, they've got a goal. They want to benefit. They want weight loss. They want fat loss. They want to lose the inches off their thighs and their arms and their belly. They want less back pain. They want a movement that doesn't cause joint pain. So they can exercise and get the weight off. So those are the things that they're thinking and the obstacles and the things that make them emotional. They want to lose weight. They start exercise. They get hurt. That's emotional for a lot of people. And if you can reach them with words that pull that out, they've heard that you get them and they will be more likely to become your customer than you may be planting the seed by just talking about equipment that a lot of people have who are offering fitness programs. You could be just priming the pump for somebody else. If somebody else in your target market area has reformer training or has TRX training or has trampolines and they have it at a lower rate, why will they choose you? If you use the right words though, you can make a change in what their reaction to your marketing will be. Marketing is talking to a group of people the same way selling is talking to one. It's one and the same thing. You're taking that one-on-one -on -one conversation and bringing it out so people can do it and have it with you on their laptop where they're not intimidated so they will be more likely to walk in through your doors. And if that was helpful, click right here and I'll see you there.